stunning, Hawaii judge makes final decision concerning Trump's travel ban, this is huge. It appears as if some of the fight that the left had is finally dwindling out after all these months. On Thursday the same federal judge in Hawaii that tried to stop the travel ban has now decided to leave the Trump administration rules in place for a travel ban on citizens from six majority Muslim countries. U.S. District Court Judge Derek Watson denied an emergency motion filed by Hawaii asking him to clarify what the U.S. Supreme Court meant by a bona fide relationship in its ruling last month. The Supreme Court ruled the administration could mostly enforce its travel ban, but added anyone with a credible claim of a bona fide relationship with a person or entity in the United States could enter. Watson states that the related question would be better posed to the Supreme Court, not him. This court will not upset the Supreme Court's careful balancing and equitable judgment, Watson said in his order. The Trump administration has said the exemption to the ban would apply to citizens of the six countries with a parent, spouse, child, adult son or daughter, son-in-law, daughter-in-law or sibling already in the U.S. The U.S. Department of Justice said in an emailed statement that it was pleased with the decision. If the plaintiffs elect to proceed. We are confident that the U.S. Supreme Court will again vindicate the President and his constitutional duty to protect the national security of the United States," the Department said. Prakim Wansafi, President of the Muslim Association of Hawaii, said he respects Watson's ruling but thinks there will be more opportunities to ensure the ban does not exclude grandparents and others close family members. We will have people directly affected by this, for sure, Wansafi said. When you exclude that many people, the circle is much wider. Back in March 2017, Watson had the ban on travelers from Syria, Sudan, Somalia, Libya, Iran and Yemen blocked in response to a lawsuit by the state of Hawaii that argued the policy discriminates against Muslims. Watson said there was significant and unrebutted evidence of religious animus behind the ban which prevents new visas for people from the six countries and suspends the nation's refugee program. The U.S. Supreme Court said the president's ban on visitors from the six countries can be enforced pending arguments scheduled for October, as long as those visitors lack a credible claim of a bona fide relationship with a person or entity in the United States. Likewise, the justices said, refugees, can travel to the U.S. if they demonstrate those connections. The High Court's majority laid out the bona fide relationships it had in mind. For individuals, a close family relationship is required, a spouse or a mother-in-law would be permitted. So would a worker who accepted a job from an American company, a student enrolled at a U.S. university or a lecturer invited to address a U.S. audience. A relationship created for purposes of avoiding the travel ban would not be bona fide, the justices said. said.